you guys are interested in the preset, it is available on the Line 6 Marketplace. If you go to the Line 6 website, or you could just click the link below and get to the Marketplace right there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate all your support. So the preset that you guys are hearing right now is something that I just came up with. I was trying to get this, you know, Tim Pierce type of like really nice edge of breakup, but like kind of clean, but really chimey and bright cuts through even with humbuckers. I've always been a huge fan of Tim's and I subscribe to his masterclass. I literally watch every video he ever puts out because he's that good to me and that much of an inspiration to me. So I wanted to try to sound a little bit like him using our Helix. Now he doesn't use an amp that's inside the Helix. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what to do in those situations where you have a specific amplifier that you might want to use, but it doesn't exist in the Helix or doesn't exist in the Helix yet. So what I do essentially, I will find out the amp and then I'll do a little bit of research on it find what type of tubes, what type of, you know, what type of internal components and what type of influences go into that amp. A lot of the websites where you'll find these boutique amps will always tell you that they're British voiced or they have the chime, you know, there's a lot of like key words that are used to describe either Marshall, Vox or Fender amp sounds. So when I was looking into his divided by 13, the RSA model, the RSA 31, I'm pretty sure, um, it says that it's between a Marshall, a Vox, and it's got a little bit of a, a different tube combination that gives it its own unique character. So what I did was I messed around with some combinations and I basically found one of our amps within the Helix is a hot rotted Vox type of amp, which is the matchstick. So half of the sound is a matchstick. And I paired that with one of the Marshall amps and I set that up in a split path and I have a blend, you know, so you can go back and forth between the two amps and pick your sweet spot. This is set up to just be an amp setting, like an amp setup. It's got the two amp blocks. It's got the cabinet block, which is very important to the sound. It's a dual cab. The miking technique that I use in here is very similar to what, you know, somebody would use in real life. I also have an EQ block, parametric EQ to sweeten it up. I'm ending it with a reverb. That's optional if you want to take that out or if you want to use it. But my main idea with this is to be just an amp. So this is really designed for being used with a full pedal board. And Tim's main thing, which I copied here totally, is he always has a drive in the front of his chain or like, I guess not right in front of the chain, right in front of the input of the amp so that he could uh, hit the input of the amp harder. So that I have set up in here, that's foot switchable. That's gonna be the first foot switch to the left. Everything else is just designed to be as a part of your normal pedal board. So I have a couple of drives set up here on my desk and I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of different sounds, how this takes pedals and what else it can do. So as you heard it already with the Les Paul in the intro with the track, right? If I turn my volume up, it definitely helps. <laughs> So it's got a nice clarity to it. That's with the drive on. So here's with the drive off. So this is nothing hitting the front end of the amp. There's no boost going into the front end. So you can hear the clarity, it's got a nice chime. This is the middle position on a Les Paul, so that's usually, you know, that little Peter Green type of Gary Moore-ish. Here it is on the bridge pickup, this is no push to the front end. And 
and this would be something that, you know, when Tim does his videos, he would describe this as it reads as clean in a track. So if you were to play just some easy strumming chord. <laughs> read is clean and when you want to play a little more hair or put a solo you're gonna hit that boost and you have the ability to do both of those with that so I'm gonna jump over and grab my strat so you could see what that sounds like So now I got my Strat, and in a lot of Tim's videos, he used the Strat. This is not exactly a Tim Pierce copy video, but it's definitely a heavily influenced tone from him with the blending of the two amps. He doesn't blend the two amps like this, but this is basically my workaround to getting that type of tone that doesn't exist in the Helix at this point. So here it is with the Strat. Bridge position on the Strat. In between positions, second position, the bridge in middle. This is with the boost on the front end. Here it is without. This is the middle position, no boost to the front end. This is like kind of like it's a decent position for like funk chords. Like <laughs> you got neck and bridge, neck and bridge, neck and middle. <laughs> My favorite strat tone is the neck in the middle. Hitting it with the front end boost. just the straight up neck pickup. Then without the front end boost. That's why you keep an extra picker. front end boost. Really awesome for leads, like it's nice, perfect for Really blues, you know, pop music, whatever you're putting a guitar solo on, I think it's a perfect, like, in-between distorted and clean sound, just enough to get you through the mix. So it also takes pedals well. I have a couple of drives set up in the front in be before my stomp. So it's my guitar going into the pedals, going into the stomp, direct in, no post-processing whatsoever. So this is a pedal that's made to sound like a Nobles ODR-1. It's not exactly Nobles, but it's a TSW. Uh, it's a custom made pedal that I had made that duplicates a Nobles ODR run and a Ibanez 
Mostortion, but it's a double drive pedal. Put a picture of that and I'll put a link to TSW pedals in the description. This is with the Noble side. The boost on the front end is also there and I'm on the bridge pickup of the strap. <laughs> Who likes the bridge pickup on the strat anyway? Up to the neck. Here we have the neck middle. Fuzz. This is a Keeley Rotten Apple Fuzz. Fuzz pedals in the front of the stomp can be really gnarly and sound really, really cool. Bring that up a little bit. Go up to the neck. So to get a little bit more uh, to my thought process with this, again, I said I looked up what the amplifier is that he uses. So the amplifier that I was seeking to replicate within the Helix, I checked out what that amp was influenced by, the pieces that go into it, kind of really just like the tubes are pretty much what you want to look for, and the type of voicing that is in the description of that amp, and then just mix and match it with ones in the Helix that also have similar descriptions. So in this case, the Matchless and the Marshall really just did the job for it. And in my opinion, sounds, and in my opinion, sounds like that divided by 13 sound that doesn't exist in the Helix. So I hope you guys like this approach to finding your own boutique amps within the Helix. And I hope that you check out my personal boutique amp within the Helix on the Line 6 Marketplace that's available on the Line 6 website. Also, if you guys are interested in more Helix content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Any questions you guys ever have, please leave them in the comments. I will definitely get back to you. I answer every comment. I make sure to do that. And have a great day.